Hi there, this is Hometown to Homestead gal. Well, today is voting day for our primary, and I have gone out and done my voting, which I feel is a privilege to do, living in this country. Um, and then I came home. We are still painting and patching and packing and cleaning and repairing and doing all of those kinds of things, but tomorrow, a week from tomorrow, I'm very excited because we are venturing out to go look at houses in, in Arizona, and that just really, really excites me. Um, I get those little butterfly flutters every time I start thinking about it. The uh, There's just so much that goes on with it, and the logistics of where my kids are going to live, so, one of them's not coming out at all, one of them's going to come out with us, and the other one has to stay here for a while because of a new job, which we're very grateful for him getting. And, uh, yeah, there's just lots and lots of little tidbits going on here and there. Um, so, in my cleaning, I found my two um, spindles for spinning wool. And this is one. This is one that I have that's actually done um, by one of those um, printers. Somebody, I got this from somebody off of one of the, the online um, Facebook sites or something. And it's nice and lightweight. It's made out of plastic and it's got this neat design in the little part of it. So I'm just working on some random purple wool that I had here. I support spindle, meaning that I don't drop it like most people do with a drop spindle, even though it's, these are designed as drop spindles. I also have a heavier wood one. It was my first one. Um, but I just take it and I draft as I'm going. Sometimes I use a little bowl on my lap or if I'm sitting at a table and you can see it starts thickening and spinning as we go along. But this is kind of a calming thing for me. And I make very rustic yarns. Nothing, there's nothing even about these whatsoever. Someday I would like to own a working spindle. I have an antique one that was given to me by my mother-in-law. But it's missing pieces and some things on it are broken. But I just like the looks of it. It's really kind of cool looking. But, yeah, we're just biding our time. I, I got a hold of the realtor to let him know some properties that we wanted to take a look at. And we started out with a list of, like, 28 properties. Got it down to a list of 15. And then he came back with a, to us that only nine of them were still available. Um, and they stretch out quite a big distance from one end of the Phoenix Valley to the other, but we are staying to the north end of Phoenix. We're trying to stay north of the 10, if anybody knows that area. Um, we had originally looked um, south of the 10, but not as far south as Tucson. Tucson we had looked at before. Oops, got that a little too thin and decided it just wasn't the, the community that we wanted to be in. So that's when we started looking more so in the Phoenix area. Kingman, Arizona was our original, that's where, I, where my heart's desire was to go, but there just wasn't enough jobs available for the industries that our family works in. And so we opted for Phoenix because we can get into a rural lifestyle as well as have the amenities of a big city close by and uh, so we're not going to be having a huge homestead the properties that we're looking at range anywhere from an acre to not quite three acres depending on the house and many bedrooms so that I can have room for those that are living with us and some guest rooms for those that come to visit us and I have to have room for a studio and Mr. Gardner wants room he wants some sort of a workshop -y garage kind of thing 
whether that be something we build later or something that the house actually comes with. We are very interested in solar panels and it's it's funny that out in Arizona, solar panels are not as big of a deal as you'd think they would be. It being as sunny as it is out there. But, uh, and we're interested in owning the solar panels, not leasing them because the we've learned from many people that the leasing isn't such the hot ticket. But, uh, yeah, and being on a well would be a plus, but it's not a, a necessity. Um, we're not afraid of water out there like we hear, are here in California. The um, They have to, they can only build in Arizona houses that they would have enough water to, to guarantee for the next hundred years. They have that written into their laws. Um, so we're not playing the stupid games that California is with their water. I'm really looking forward to that. And we will have some easy maintenance landscape because we do like the um, cactus and desert foliage, but I do also want to have a vegetable garden and some uh, fruit and nut trees and berry brambles and that sort of thing to go along on our little homestead. But there's lots to be excited about, not tons of things happening around here. Um, I'm liking being reacquainted with my spindle and um, one week to go. And I'm very excited to head out and look towards the next step of our big adventure. Um, for a lot of people, moving from California to Arizona doesn't seem like a big step, but I'm hometown girl. I, I've lived in this community my entire life, so this is a big step for me. It's not the same as somebody moving completely across the country or moving from one extreme climate to another, but for me, it's a big step. And, uh, I look forward to the different way of life and uh, look forward to maybe having a little less stress in our lives and letting that add to their our quality of life. Quality of life is such an important issue and so many people will strive for greater things not realizing that they're jeopardizing their quality of life. And I don't think that that's what God has planned for me. He has, he has better things planned for me, a better quality of life. And uh, so, yeah, much excitement going on in my little heart. And I look forward to doing some more videos with you all. I'm going to be videotaping while we are looking for our home. And as we are touring homes, if we see red flags, I can point them out so that other people that might be interested in doing something similar would know what to look for. And uh, looking for some great, great little bits and pieces to the house. And so I'll be editing some uh, tour videos together when we are out there looking. But it's a good way to share with family too. It just makes it simple. But anyway, I hope you all have a fabulous week this week. And if I don't see you before, I'll see you next week. And that's from hometown to homestead, Gal Gardner. Bye-bye.